Hollywood's biggest night is on Sunday, and if this year's previous award shows are any indication, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer will dominate the evening, but that's not the only storyline in play. Our movie critic, Gray Drake, is here with her predictions. We have been with you every week as we've walked through all of these movies. Now we are here at the sort of finish line of this season. Woo, it's so a marathon, we, baby. We want Woo. you to talk about who is going to win and who you think should win, which is really your predictions and, uh, for the week. Right. Um, Best picture. I mean, we know who's going to win, right? We do. It's going to be Oppenheimer, and this is going to grab a lot of records. So Oppenheimer stands a chance to be right up there with the most winningest films of all time at the Oscars, which is like Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, and Titanic. Oppenheimer's probably going to end up up there, so if you ever have a question on your Oscar ballot, just go with Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah. And who, who do you wish would win? American fiction. Mm -hmm. This movie is exceptional. Jeffrey Wright, Sterling K. Brown, they were nominated. They're not going to win this time, but the story is amazing. It's so funny. It's so poignant and timely. This must be checked out when it's streaming soon on Amazon Prime. That's, uh, so I can't watch it tomorrow unless I go to a theater? No, it's still in theaters. Okay. It's a All great right. way to see it, but... Uh, Marla. Okay. Uh, I've seen five it. out of the ten best I pictures, by the Ooh. way. Um, in the category of best director, who's going to win? Finally, Christopher Nolan is going to win an Oscar. Believe it or not, like, he hasn't picked one up. It's crazy. And so he's going to get this one. He's won everything else. But if I had my way, mm -hmm. we would get Lord Yorgos Lanthimos his Oscar for directing Poor Things because his movies are weird. They're weird. gorgeous. They're fully realized pieces of art. And they're not even pretentious. They're really funny and strange. I dig this guy so much. I mean, there is nothing like Poor Things. Truly. <laughs> Truly. It, it is and its own thing. And I, I watched the first few minutes of it, and I was like, why am I watching this? I really want to turn it off. But Gray <laughs> told me to keep going, so I did. Yeah. And by the end, I loved it. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. He's an incredible it's, artist. It's a journey, though. So Truly. So pack your patience. Uh, and <laughs> side note, don't watch it with your parents or your kids. I can't say that enough. Uh, okay. One what, what of the only categories where we really don't know who's going to win is Best Actor. Yeah, this is going to be challenging because Paul Giamatti from The Holdovers, which is streaming on Peacock now. I've has, seen that one. Has won almost everything, and his role as Professor Paul is so cranky and amazing, and Paul Giamatti is a national treasure, okay? Mm -hmm. But Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer won the SAG Award, which is a very big deal because the actors, of course, vote on who gets the Best Actor Award. And so, yeah. He was great. He's always been great. He's always going to be great. If he wins, I will be mad at it. But I'd love to see Paul Giamatti with a statue. Okay, and on the female side of things, for Best Actress? Another really tight race, because Lily Gladstone, playing Molly from Killers of the Flower Moon, like, she literally was lying in a bed for half of this three-hour film, and she still was riveting. <laughs> okay? Need to point that out. Um, she would be the first Native American winner it w and it would be incredible to see us honor that story of a very dark time in U.S. past. Uh, but she has strong competition from previous winner Emma Stone from Poor Things that we're just talking about. It's amazing. This role as like a sexy, weird Frankenstein with like a, with a feminist slant is really such an incredible work from her. Like yeah. it's so physical and it's so weird and she's so consistently good at it. Hmm. It speaks to both the script but mostly her interpretation of those words and yeah, I mean she so much, just keeps getting better. So much character growth in that. Yeah. Um, you feel for Carrie Mulligan. Yeah, because she's I mean, amazing in Maestro. Amazing right? yeah. Maestro. She really is. She is Maestro and I yeah. mean Bradley Cooper deserves a shout out for all of his nominations and his exceptional work both yeah. as an actor and a director. It is nobody from Maestro's year which is a shame to say but yeah. the good news for you as you could stream it on Netflix. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Great. Enjoy. Yeah. Have fun oh, Sunday. Oh, thank you. Movie Nude Super Bowl. It, it is. Great. It is. All right.